Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to Up All Night. I'm Monica. Today, we're going to make some New Year's decorations. So, let's get into it. For the first project, I'll be using a Dollar Tree top hat, let it snow snowman plaque, American acrylic paint in white, black, and Irish moss, ceram coat in charcoal, hippo gray, drizzle gray, and jubilee green. I'll also be using Mod Podge hot glue, scissors, folk art float medium, black and silver glitter. Some Harlequin scrapbook paper, the numbers one through five printed on cardstock and a Happy New Year banner also printed on cardstock. Mini cupcake liners in silver, a couple of large craft sticks, a black marker, and a cup of coffee. First, I'll flip over the snowman and paint the face white. Two coats should do it. Then his hat and his scarf, I'll paint charcoal. Two coats on the hat. The scarf will only get covered with the Happy New Year banner, so one coat is good. I'll trace out a thin border around his face. What I did was trace his face onto cardstock, drew a border around it, cut that out so that I wouldn't have to wing it on the piece. It's not necessary to do this, but it makes for a cleaner edge and to me is easier. For consistency, I drew the clock face features onto cardstock and cut them out to trace them on. I do this because I'm notorious for making one eye bigger than the other when I'm sketching. I'll paint the border with charcoal, as well as the craft sticks, which I'll paint while I wait for the border to dry. Now I'll paint in the features, starting with his eyes. I'm using Irish moss for his iris, two coats. Then I'll outline his features in hippo gray, except for the clock hands. Those will be charcoal. Of course, if you wanted, you could always use a marker to outline all the features and draw in the mouth, etc. I just prefer to use paint. I'll work some floating medium into my brush, side load with Jubilee Green, and shade around the perimeter of his iris for depth. I'll tip dot his pupils using the end of my brush and some charcoal paint. Then, with a larger brush end, I dip dot his nose, dot his cheeks with drizzle gray, and then where the three, six, and nine would be with hippo gray. I'll 
While the dots dry, I cut out the numbers. I also cut five circles from black card stock. I'll take five mini cupcake liners and flatten them out, like so. Now I'll glue the black circles to the back of the cupcake liners, then the numbers to the front. The font I used for the numbers, Raconteur. I've drilled a hole at one end of my craft stick. That'll be the top. Now, I glue my sticks together. I want them to be about 13 inches. I've cut a strip of scrapbook paper for his hat band. We won't see much of this, so it's optional, but it's a nice touch. It's all in the details. With Mod Podge, I'll glue that on. Now I'll shade his face with drizzle gray. First I load my brush with some float medium by working it back and forth into the bristles. Then I side load with the drizzle gray. I'll keep the side of the brush with the paint on it closest to the edge. Now, I'll give his eyes some character lines. I draw on the 12 with my marker and give him eyebrows with charcoal. You can use the marker for his eyebrows too, up to you, but I like to paint them in. I'll dot his pupils with some white for highlight. I'll shade his hat with black, and I'll shade the border too. It's difficult to see the shading on the video, but in person, it's very obvious. Time for glitter. I dipped out his cheek right in the center, once again using the original color, Drizzle. Then add silver glitter. I'm also adding a dot of silver glitter to my numbers and the Happy New Year banner. This is optional, but I think New Year should have some sparkle. A black dot in the center of his nose and some black glitter and around the border too. I'll also add glitter to the border of the numbers and the banner as well. I'll glue the craft sticks to the center of the hat. I'll add my numbers. I'll start with one at the brim of the hat and work upward to five.
I glue two more craft sticks to the back of the Happy New Year banner for extra support. And I glue that to his scarf. I added a bit of baker string to the top to hang him. How stinking cute is he? Love him. Next project is along the same lines, but for those who maybe aren't digging the cartoonish element. For this project, I'm using a Dollar Tree snow globe plaque, vinyl Roman numerals, and the words Happy New Year that I've cut with my silhouette, Americana acrylic paint in white and black, ceram coat in charcoal and drizzle gray, black and silver glitter, Craft sticks, mini cupcake liners, two silver party horns, Harlequin scrapbook paper, and black cardstock, printed numbers and cheers banner, a two and a half inch hole punch, rubber cement and hot glue, scissors, baker string or ribbon or wire, something for the hanger. On the flip side, I'll paint the globe white, two coats. Just as we did in the last project, I'll trace a border around the clock face and paint it charcoal. I'll also paint the bottom charcoal one coat is okay because it'll be covered by the banner. While that dries, I'll paint the five craft sticks charcoal also. I'll shade the perimeter of the clock face with drizzle. Same as before, loading my brush with float medium, working it into the bristles, and then side loading with the drizzle gray. Then I'll shade the border with black. I trace the clock hands on and paint it in with charcoal. I punch out the printed numbers and backing circles, then once again, flatten five mini cupcake liners, include the black circles on the back, numbers on the front. I'm going to add some hot glue to my horns. They're only stapled, so I want to make sure they're sealed nice and tight. I've cut strips from the scrapbook paper a few inches wide. These will wrap around the horns. But first, silver glitter dots. Then, just like before, I'll give the numbers a silver dot as well as the letters and the corners of the cheers sign. Makes me think of champagne bubbles.
And again, in the borders of the numbers and the cheers banner, I dot with black paint and add black glitter. I've put my vinyl numbers in place, then the Happy New Year. Then I'll add black dots and black glitter all the way around the perimeter of the clock. And a black glitter dot in the center of the hands. I've drilled a hole at the top of the craft stick that will go in the center at the top and I glued the number three just below. There's a bow to this plaque so I was able to place my sticks where I wanted them and slip the glue in between. The rest of the numbers I glued to the top of the stick. I'll also add two sticks to the back of my banner for extra support, just like before, and I glue it into place. Now I'll work on my horns. I've cut angles onto my harlequin paper to flute it a bit so it fits better on the horn. I glue the paper on, making sure that the seams of the paper are lined up with the horn seams. Then I add some black pipe cleaner to the top and bottom of the paper to camouflage the edge. And I glue them into place. I add some baker string to hang, and I place curling ribbon overhanging the horns to give it that New Year's Eve party vibe. Next two projects are quick and easy. Supplies, clock face clip art on white cardstock at three and a quarter inch, Happy New Year banner, black cardstock, baker string in black and white, black and silver glitter, or if you have rhinestones, that'll do too. Wood beads in five eighths inch, three quarter inch, black and drizzle gray paint, hot glue and scissors. Happy New Year garland. I just printed off some clock face clip art. I Google clock face midnight and picked one I liked, then sized it to three quarter inches in Photoshop. Then I made a three and a half inch circle in Photoshop, added a small oval on top. I traced those on the black cardstock and cut them out and the clocks too. Then glued the clocks to the backers and punched holes in the ovals. I glittered up the clocks and the banners just like in the other two projects. I painted 14 of the smaller beads in drizzle gray and 8 of the larger beads in charcoal. I've cut about 5 feet or so of baker string. I put a clip at the end about 6 inches from the end of my string so that as I string on the beads and the clocks they don't fall off the other end. I'll start with the gray bead, then black, then gray. I'm using a bit of paddle wire, fold it in half as a kind of needle to help me thread the elements onto my string. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I thread on three beads and a clock until I have four sets of beads and three clocks. 
Now I'll glue on my sign. This should be in the center of the length of string, roughly. Then three more beads and so on. I make two tassels by wrapping the baker string around my fingers about 20 times. I pass the garland string through the center of the tassel and pull it up close to the first bead. Come down about a half inch from the tassel top, wrap another piece of baker string around the tassel a couple of times, and tie it off to give it that tassel definition. Then I thread the excess garland string up through the beads. I'll tie it with a double knot, cut the excess. I'll add a dot of hot glue to the knot so it doesn't fray. With my scissors, I find the center of the tassel and cut through the loops and trim if necessary. Quick and easy New Year garland from some cardstock, string and beads. The last project, also quick and easy. Supplies, Harlequin wrapping paper, Pop Fizz Clink mini banners, they're two inch by one inch, champagne glass and word cheers, I've cut with my silhouette. A Dollar Tree 4x4 frame, glue dots, tape and some scissors, Mod Podge, and some Stardust glitter. I printed up my banner shape about 2 inches by 1 inch with the words Pop, Fizz, Clink and cut them out. I've taken apart my frame and removed the glass. I cover one of the glass panels with the wrapping paper, wrapping it up just like a present. I'm going to lay my frame over top of the panel to get an idea of where I want the pop fizz clink to be. I don't want them to be too close to the edge of the frame. Then I'll attach the banners with a glue dot. Then I lay the other glass panel on top. I stick my vinyl champers glass on, then the cheers beneath, and finally the bubbles. I cut a half circle from cardstock. I'll trace that onto the wrapping paper where the champagne would be in the glass. I'll fill in that area with some Mod Podge and some Stardust glitter. Yep, more glitter. It's a mix of silver, gold, iridescent, and star shapes. I'm also gonna do some bubble dots. I think this is too cute. Then, I just reassemble the frame. Love this. I think this is absolutely adorable. I'm 
I had so much fun making these decorations. To me, New Year's is always sparkly. Black, white, and silver and gold captures New Year's for me. The fonts I used, as well as all the supplies, will be in the description box. Thanks for hanging with me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tick the bell icon for notifications of upcoming videos. Many blessings, and may the new year bring you peace, love, joy, prosperity, good health, security, abundance, good fortune, and wealth. Happy New Year. Up all night with Monica.